guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys another trading video, and this one right here is actually a converting method, which I briefly went over in my Ultimate FIFA trading guide that I did towards the beginning of FIFA 17, uh, but I didn't really go too in-depth on it, and I did say I would make in-depth trading videos on every single method in that video right there. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it in this video right here. It's a really, really effective method. Very few people use it. You can make a lot of coins with it very, very quickly and very easily. Now, before we do go on into this video, if you guys do want to see a video on my top five trading methods on FIFA 17, then just drop a like on the video. And if we can get 250 likes, I'll bring out that video as soon as possible. So without further ado, let's go on into this trading method right here. All you are going to want to do is just find a decent right back or a decent left back. So you just want to go to right back. Uh, gold, you want to look for kind of popular leagues, so obviously Premier League is a popular one to go with, you just want to find a few players, you can add them to your transfer targets, uh, or just kind of keep them in memory really, uh, it doesn't have to be kind of a player from one of these top leagues, you can go with for example a player from uh, one of these leagues down here, like the Liga Nos maybe, or the MLS, or the Super League, one of those leagues, Semedo, and some of these cheaper cards that go for discard price are probably the best to do this with, uh, so let's look up for example Semedo, and all you want to do is actually get these cards in right back, and you're actually going to be converting them and listing them on the market. So you want to find Semedo, and basically just look them up on the market in right wing back and see what these cards sell for. So if we look up right wing back right here, uh, he's currently going for 1.8k, there's only one on the market. So if we look at what he's normally selling for, uh, what the cheapest buy now for Semedo is, uh, 700 coins. There we go, 700 coins, I can actually get him for that, buy him right there. And what you then want to do is send the player to your club and you actually want to then go and get a position change card which will cost you about 200 coins and then you want to convert them to a right wing back and sell them on. So you only want to kind of pick up a card if they go for obviously less than uh, what they go for normally in right wing back. So we look right wing back right here. You want them to be quite a bit more expensive than they are in right back. Now right here there's a difference of uh, around a thousand coins between the two so definitely a great one to pick up. But if for example the card's going for 1.5k, and in right wing back, they're going for 1.8. You don't really want to go with someone like that, but if it's someone like Semedo right here, where he is a lot cheaper in right back than right wing back, he's definitely a good player to do it with. I will show you guys plenty of other examples in the video. But what you now want to do is just go over to consumables. You then want to go to position modify. You then want to go to uh, right back to right wing back, or left back to left wing back, depending uh, which player you're doing this with. You can either get them on a buy now right here for 200 coins, uh, or you can also uh, just put bids on them and you'll get them all for 150 coins. I'll just get them on a buy now right now. But you do get 50 coins extra profit if you do uh, just go out and put bids on them. So you then want to send them to the club and then you want to actually head over to your club and you want to convert the player in the club. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. And uh, it doesn't take too long. Uh, it's best if you kind of do this in mass. So if you get a whole load of cards, send them to your club and then convert them a little bit later on. So this is actually my current skill team that I am using right now so we want to head over here go down to right backs and just find uh, the right back who is Semedo who I'm going to be converting whereabouts is he here he is Semedo right here and now all you want to do is just uh, apply that uh, consumable so just go over to uh, positioning right here then you're going to want to get that card so where is it right back to right wing back find wherever that position change card is here it is I've already got quite a few in my club. They go very, very cheaply, so uh, they never really sell. So I just send them to my club anyway to do this method with. So now I can list them up for about 1.6k. List these cards for one day, uh, and they do generally sell on the first time you list them up. Because right backs and left wing backs are really, really effective this year. Because a lot of people use five at the back formations and park the bus in foot draft. So a lot of people want to go and get these cards. And it means that uh, normally you don't have many cards on the market, like Semedo right here. There's only one on the market, so if someone wants to build a team, maybe using Carrillo, he gets a strong link to him, or maybe using a PZ or a Portuguese winger in the Liga Nos. He's just the first player you'd go with, and uh, he is uh, only only got one card on the market right now. So uh, these guys definitely do sell on pretty fast. And uh, as you see here, we spent 700 coins on the player, we spent 200 coins on the position change, so 900 coins spent, and I'm going to list him up for 1.6k. So that's around 650 coins profit there after EA tax which is not too bad when he does sell on. Now let's go and actually find a couple of other players. We can do this with, just show you guys some other examples. And uh, yeah, all you want to do is just look the cards up basically uh, here. So let's go with High Satch. I just saw him in my club and he's another one of those very cheap players. So we could potentially only have a couple on the market in right wing back. So we check right here, 1.1K seems to be the lowest by now. Uh, and that could actually be a good deal. I could pick that card up for 1.1K potentially. 
you do sometimes see some really good bargains right here. And uh, yeah, I could always pick him up for 1.1k. But if we actually see what he's selling for, I will be able to sell him for around 1.3k because there's uh, that one for 1.1k. But other than that, that was the lowest on the market. So we actually see what he sells for normally. I think he is a discard price player. So we just check on the market. Uh, is he like 750 coins? Maybe a little bit more. 800 coins. I could get him right there. Then get that position change card and uh, convert him for a total cost of uh, around 1,000 coins. Uh, a bit less though if I did get that one bid. And list that card for 1.3. I'm not going to do that because that's not going to be the most amazing profit. I want to find just a slightly better player to do this with. So again, all you want to do, let's go with a, a left back this time to show it does work with that as well. You want to find kind of quite a cheap player, so under around 2,000 coins. You don't want to do this with someone like Sandro or Alaba. You want to do it with a, a quite a cheap player. So let's just look in the Premier League and look for a, a card to do this with. We can check Van Anholt, we can check Masuaku, and let's also check Clichy. They're going to be the three cards we do this with. So firstly, let's check Clichy, and you just want to look these cards up in left wing back. Really, really simple, so let's do this right here. And uh, Clichy right now is going for 2.5k, 2.1 there as the lowest by now, 2.1k, and sorry if you can hear fireworks in the background as well. Um, fireworks, a load of them are going off right now. We've actually got a couple of deals that you can add and uh, put bids on them. But uh, 2.1 to the lowest by now. Other than that, though, it is 2.5. So I can list the card up for 2.4, and it will definitely sell on because Kalishi is one of the most kind of highly desirable left backs in the Premier League, uh, and one people are definitely going to want to pick up and to uh, use in their team. So if I can get one for, uh, well, let's basically just see what what Kalishi is selling for. Uh, what is he currently selling for right now? 1.8, maybe 1.9. I could get this card here for 1.9k, then I could change his position to left wing back, which will cost me about 2.1k in total. List him up for 2.4, that would be like 250, 300 coins profit there. Uh, again, another good kind of example right there. Let's also look up Van Anholt, and it works really well with these kind of lower rated cards where they only have like maybe one or two cards actually on the market in left wing back. So, if we look him up in left wing back right here, uh, where is left wing back? So. A uh, left wing back, he's got two cards on the market. This is a perfect example. Going for 2.4k. So now all we want to do is just look up Van Anholt and try and get him as cheaply as possible. And he's actually quite a cheap player, I do believe. Should be able to get him for around 1,000 coins and then convert him in. As I, was, as I was saying, these are kind of perfect players to do this with. They're really cheap. And someone like Van Anholt, he's very quick. He's one of the more overpowered left backs in the Premier League. And generally, people building five at the back teams aren't the best at FIFA because they want to park the bus and they're conceding a lot of goals normally. So they go park the bus and they generally go for pace. They go for kind of sweaty teams. So Van Anholt is definitely a good player to do this with. And the other player I think was Masuaku and he's actually got some really good well-rounded stats and he's quick. So again, he'd be a good player to use as a left wing back. So if we just look up right here, what is he going for in left wing back? Another perfect example, he's currently going for around 2.9K. And there we go, we've got another deal you can put bids on. And uh, this is just a really, really easy method. Generally, you're going to be converting the players, but you do see a lot of deals on bid as well, and always add them to your transfer targets and try and get them. You're often going to be able to get them for pretty much the same price as the normal card goes for in left wing back, um, and then you can sell them on on a buy now for quite a lot more. So right now, as you can see, 2.9k is the lowest buy now, uh, but I think we should be able to get him a lot cheaper if we just get him in his normal default position. 1.1k is what we're looking at right here. So I'll just pick that one there. I'll try and get one with contracts and stuff like that normally because you want them to, to get bought, obviously, as quickly as possible. Send that to the club, though. Uh, we should hopefully have a couple of position change cards in the club to list these cards up for. So what was he actually going for? I think it was 2.5k. And uh, Van Anholt was going for around the same. So uh, we've got two more players there. We've sent them both to the club. Obviously, obviously you do want to go and get that position change card as well. Uh, I already have a couple in my club, though. So now all I'm going to need to do is just head over here and get those cards wherever they are. So if we go to left back. So I will show you guys one or two more examples after this because, I mean, there are loads and loads of players you can do this with. You can do it with pretty much any player. I mean, any of these guys here, it would work with all of them. Um, but right now, just going to show you guys a couple of examples here. And you don't have to use the cards I'm, I'm showing you here. There are loads and loads of different left backs on the game. You want to go with quick ones. You want to go with ones in good leagues. And that's it, really. It's just that simple. So we look right here. Left back to left wing back. We've already got two in the club. And I can just uh, add those to the cards there. So we got him for 1.1k. Uh, that position change card you're looking to spend 150 or 200 coins on. So not too much at all. 
We do also have a Van Anholt right here as well. Van Anholt was going, I believe, for 2.5k as the lowest by now, or 2.4. So I'm going to list mine for 1.9k. And in total, I spent 1.3 on the conversion. So I can list him for 1.9k, and that's going to be about five to 600 points profit there, which is very, very nice. And these cards always sell on normally on the first listing. If you list them for one day, they're going to be the cheapest card on the market, and they're going to get bought. Now, this guy right here, Masuaku, 2.5k was the lowest by now. Again, spent 1.3k on the conversion, so I'm going to list him for 1.9 as well. Uh, I mean, just listing them under 2,000 coins at 1.9 makes them a lot more kind of desirable to buy off the transfer market. It's like something that's being sold for 99p. People are more likely to buy it than something for a pound. So there we go. List out for 1.9k. Should definitely sell on. And let's go with just one more example. And it's going to be another one of those cheap, low-rated players. And this is what I really recommend you guys doing. Is looking for these lower-rated players. I have seen a few other people do videos on this particular trading method. And they go for higher-rated cards. They go for people like Zabaleta, people like Sanya. And uh, those kind of more expensive and higher-rated cards. Whereas I would recommend doing it with these really low rated cards that you get very cheaply and that normally have like two or three cards on the market in left wing back and generally you're going to be able to make more profit. So if we look, a, look him up in left wing back, currently going for 1.2k, there's one there you can put a bid on uh, and I can get him very very cheaply, him being one of the uh, kind of cheapest rare discard price uh, fullbacks right here. should be able to get him for 750, I can get him for 750 coins. Uh, right here we already have one in my club so i'm just going to pick this one here up just to show you guys what he costs and then um i will just uh i'll send that to my club right here send the other two to the transfer list and now what i am going to need to do is go and get uh, that position change card this case here i'm going to actually bid on him because i uh i actually uh, or rather bid on the item rather it's not a player but here we go i just put a bid on it just to show you guys you can obviously get these on bid so there we go whack a bit on there and you can just spam bids on, on as many of these really as you want. You can just mass bid on these and send them to your club. Then go and pick up a whole load of players and convert them. So it's really, really quick and easy. And uh, as I wait for that to expire, I'm quickly going to go and find one more player. Let's go with uh, another kind of cheap right or left back. I'd recommend actually looking up maybe concept players because then you can kind of see for a specific rating. Uh, try and find some of those lower rated cards. And you can do this pretty easily. Let's go with another Premier League player this time here. Who do we have as kind of a cheap, a cheap rare card really? I want, I want a player who is unlikely to have many cards on the market. So potentially Nyom, maybe Mankio actually. Mankio would be a good player. We can check out Mankio. What is he selling for right now? Um, if we check Mankio's price in um, right wing back. Right wing back Mankio, currently none on the market there. He has only got one card on the market, actually two there. One for 1.9k and one just uh, right there for a 10k by now. So Mankio again, these these guys here we just don't have many on the market are perfect for this. So if we check out Mankio's price um, in just uh, his normal default position, it's, I think it's around about 1.1k. There we go, 1.1. Get that one there for 1k. Actually has already been bought, so I'll get this one here for 1.1. Okay, I won't get that one either. And wow. None of those I've been, I've been able to get. It's really annoying when, when the market kind of glitches and you don't see those cards uh, on the market. So I'm going to have to pay 1.2 for him. You can snipe these cards. You can get them on bid as well. Uh, and that's going to maximize your profit. Um, but right now, just for, for the purpose of the video, I want to get these cards quickly. So I'm going to buy that there. And we got that for 1.2. He was going for 1.9, as you guys did see earlier on. And uh, hopefully, we've managed to get a couple of those position change cards that I can now send to my club. Because we do have to convert Mario Rui as well. Uh, we actually managed to pick up a Jose Gaia, who I put a bid on earlier, uh, for 1,000 coins. And, uh, yeah, you guys can see some of the players you could have put bids on. I did forget to actually go and bid on them. But, anyways, we're actually still winning a, a Mario Rui right there. But, as you see, managed to get this card here, the left-back to left wing-back card, uh, pretty cheaply for 150 coins. So, now I'm just going to send that to the club. That Gaia right there, I can sell on a bit later on. Um, I'll probably get some up, though, off-camera. But, if we just go down to the squads now... We have Mario Rui actually as my left back uh, in this team, but I did end up uh, sending the one I already had to my transfer list. So now what we want to do is just look up left backs. And uh, again, I do apologize if you can hear the fireworks. They've just started up again, which is pretty annoying. But there's just so many players like people like Ziegler and Maxwell. These type of ratings are perfect to do this method with because they normally only have kind of like under a page of cards on the market. So... They're perfect really for this. So we've got both of these cards here to convert as well. And this method is just really, really effective. Very few people actually do it. 
and you just have very little competition when it comes to picking the cards up. And it's just quite an easy method to do, like you're not having to snipe people, it doesn't really depend on your internet speed, for example, with some of the other trading methods I have shown you guys, where if you have slow internet, it really does kind of impact how well it works. We spent in total um, 1,350 coins on this conversion here. He goes for 1.9, so I'm going to list him for 1.8, and that's going to be a couple of hundred coins profit there as well. And uh, these guys just sell on really fast because people want to get left and right wing backs for uh, their teams for foot champions and stuff like that. These guys just sell on especially well on Fridays and Thursdays, which is when people kind of prepare their foot champions teams. Um, so where is a left back to left wing back? Here we go. Got the card for 150. Got the actual player for 750. And again, you can snipe the cards or you can get them on buy nows as well. Uh, the actual players so you can get just a little bit more profit. He was going for 1.1k, I believe, uh, and we spent 900 coins on him. So I'm going to list him for 1.1. I think there was one on the market for that. That card, I don't know. Like Once that card expires, you're going to have the only card on the market, so you can list him a lot more. But I'm just going to go with... Actually, I'll go with 1.5k, because since he's going to be up for one day, he's going to be either the only one or the cheapest card on the market for quite a solid period, I reckon, of that one-day period. So I'm going to list him up right there, and that should be some good profit. And I want to end on just one really, really good deal. I want to end on one deal that's going to make me a ton of coins. So let's look up. Again, you, you, you want to look for these low-rated cards. You want to look for players who aren't going to have many versions of those particular cards on the market. So if we look for... Actually, I don't even need to do this. I'm going to look up Ziegler. He's a really popular player on Ultimate Team, being one of the best Dutch left-backs on the game. So you want to find a card like this. Extinct ones where they don't have any cards as left wing backs are perfect. So Ziegler right there, we've got him as an option, and he's a really cheap player you can do this with. Let's also look up. Is he called Costa? I think he is called Costa. Um, he may not be here because he's quite low rated. Alberto Costa. Is that his name? No, it's the other Costa. There's quite a few Costas right here, but not Alberto. Here we go. We're looking for Costa. And this guy here is another low rated left, well, left back. We will be getting him as a left wing back, though, hopefully. Uh, who is it? Is it Andrea Costa? No, it isn't. I'm going to find who this person actually is, and uh, I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, so it's this guy here, uh, Howell Costa. So now we just want to look him up in left wing back as well, see if he's got any cards on the market. And again, this is a perfect one. He's extinct on the market currently in that position. So uh, I'm going to go and get a quick position change card because I've run out. But uh, I'll, I'll just actually show you guys what he sells for. I already have him in my club. But he goes for 750 coins right there. There's one on the market I could pick up uh, right there. And also, if we check out Ziegler, he may be a little bit more right now because there is a squad builder challenge that does need Dutch players. Uh, but he should still be pretty cheap because uh, normally he's 700 coins. He's just a really discard price player. Right now, what's he actually selling for? He actually goes for... Oh, wow. I, I actually know where he goes for a lot. This guy here plays for... What team is he? What team is it? Benfica that he plays for or Sporting? He plays for Sporting, which is why he sells for a lot right now. And that's because of the squad builder challenge where you need Sporting players. And also he's Dutch. That's why he sells for a lot. Normally he's 700 coins. So I'm just going to act as if he costs 700 coins, which he normally does. And that's the one in my club. I think he, he didn't cost much the one in my club. You will see in a minute. But uh, again, another player extinct in left wing back. So now let's go and get those position change cards um, and see what we can do. So we need a left back to left wing back card. Uh, we can just get one for 200 coins. You guys have seen you can get them on bid. Um, but uh, since I'm recording a video, we don't really want to be messing about spending ages waiting for these cards to expire. So we're just going to get that there, send that to the club. Uh, and I do actually already have a right back to right wing back card in my club. So now all we're going to need to do, just for the last two deals of the episode, I know this video has been pretty long. But I just wanted to show you guys some really, really good examples to show you guys that this method does work. And now all we're going to need to do is just head over to, uh, we've got one right back and one left back, have we? Or is it two left backs? I think it's, yeah, it's two left backs. Uh, we've got uh, Costa right here and we've got Ziegler. Uh, and now we're just going to get, let's go with uh, with Costa first up because Ziegler's got that got that price right now, which is a bit, a bit higher than normal um, because normally he's a discard price player. But here we go, we can convert him to uh, a left wing back. We actually only have one card. So I won't be converting Ziegler right now. Ziegler is probably not the best of examples. I got mine for 1.2. Normally he's a discard price player, but because that squad build challenge kind of messes up his price right now. Uh, but as you see there, I got this one for 800. You guys saw he was going for about 750 coins earlier. The total conversion then cost me around about 900 coins. So 
since he was extinct on the market, I'm going to list this for one point. Let's go for 1.9k. That's a good price normally to list these cards up for because it seems quite cheap. It's under 2,000 coins, but it's still going to be some good profit. That's going to be just under 1,000 coins profit actually selling that card on. So there we go. List that card up. And as I said, I won't be doing Ziegler just because I've ran out of um, position change cards. And also his price is currently a bit too high because that's got a bit of challenge. But there you go. Uh, we have currently got a load of cards that we have managed to pick up. So I'm just going to head over to the transfer list, show you guys uh, the cards I've actually managed to uh, to pick up in the short amount of time. And I will then show you guys uh, when these cards do sell on. I'm going to come back to you in an hour and show you how many have sold on. But currently we've got Semedo, Van Anholt right here. We've got Masuaku. Um, and Keo, we've got Mario Rui, and also we've got uh, Costa right here. I did actually pick up a Sanya for 2.9k in a uh, right wing back, and he actually goes for 3.5 earlier on. So I'm going to list him up there, uh, but that was uh, that was uh, just uh, slightly different because I picked him up off camera, uh, so obviously not in the trading video. But there we go, those are the cards. I will be back, I'll show you guys on screen kind of right now. Not that it's when I'm talking now, but you will see on screen right now the cards that I did manage to sell on after an hour. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop it a like. Subscribe if you are new around here. As I said, 250 likes, uh, and I will be bringing out my top five trading methods on FIFA 17 to make a ton of coins. But I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.